Motivation is an important aspect towards the success of an academic program. It's very important for educators to understand what triggers the interest of students to get registered into a course. Sadly, uh, most educators tend to ignore this fact. However, I want to let you know that understanding what motivates your student to study your course will help them to succeed in the program. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is Dango's Diary and the topic for today is types of motivation. I call on you to hit the like button and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you can equally check my videos on TikTok as well as Instagram. The name is Dango's Diary. Learn with me. To quickly continue, for today's video, like I earlier mentioned, I'll be sharing with you two types of motivation. The first one is intrinsic. Yeah, intrinsic. As an educator, it's important for you to understand this type of motivation because it comes in natural. It's in it, like learners are deliberately motivated to take a course for certain reason, probably for achievement. Like people that are goal driven, they might want to register into an English program because they have their eyes set into a career that involves the English language. It's normal that these kind of students would do the, their best to learn and understand everything that is being taught because they have a goal in mind, an academic career or a profession that involves some English language. Another aspect that might drive this type of motivation is so benefits, like maybe we are looking at adults professionals, perhaps their companies have uh, encouraged them to enroll into an English program. When they enroll and achieve this uh, program or this course, they tend to have a uh, salary increase and they tend to have promotion in their job. So all this is intrinsic because it comes with certain requirements, call it incentives or benefits. The second aspect Extrinsic, yeah, extrinsic. Uh, with this kind of motivation, learners are a bit forced to get involved into the academic program. And with this kind of behavior, you tend to observe that there is very little concentration because uh, this kind of motivation is not natural. And there are so many reasons for this kind of motivation. You might want to think of an aspect of power here. Yeah. Power here, we may look at it into two ways, like those that need power maybe to become motivational speakers. They are encouraged to take the program because they want to distinguish themselves in society. Again, power can equally be a little bit abusive here because if it comes from the uh, part of parents, like these learners are encouraged or forced to take your program because their parents want them to do so. So the level of focus might not be optimal like those with intrinsic that is natural. Another aspect is social, like students might tend to get engaged into your course because their friends are doing so or they have created a community which uh, encouraged them to go to the course. Yeah, so they follow the crowd here. Yeah deeply within them they are not really encouraged to do this course rather they are being driven by force that social force that prepares them to take the course so there is that social aspect and again you might want to think of external pressure like i mentioned family there are some family that might pressurize their kids to enroll into an english course because they want to maintain certain social reputation. So all these are extrinsic, which pushes learner to register into a course because they want to place somebody or they want to place a goal, a dream, which is not really what they intend to do. So as an educator, knowing these are different types of motivation may help you to encourage your learners to learn and achieve their aim in the course, be it intrinsic or extrinsic. Thanks for watching and please, like I said, hit the subscribe button, like the video and share with friends and family. See you next time. Bye-bye.